Hello, my boy. So, first things first, welcome back, Whiskey Fam. Second of all, you're all dudes. I don't care what you think or you may or may not be. But once you join the uh, the internets and the weebs, uh, everyone becomes a man just because there's no such thing as grills online. So, congratulations, Worldwide Launch is here. Uh, I've been waiting a while for this to happen. You know, I said this before, I really couldn't do it anymore on the soft launch just because my game was crashing all day, every day, like crazy. Uh, it was pretty painful, honestly, with the VPN and everything. So it no longer became worth it to play because it was just rough. The game was great, honestly. Uh, it just was really hard because of performance issues. Um, but I'm glad. Uh, there was a slight stumble on the launch, which is fine because it's common and normal. Um, one thing I will note, though, is that huge changes happened. Uh, congratulations to the community. You done told Nexon to go screw themselves, and they did. So basically, the community won. Uh, for those that are unaware, during the soft launch, a lot of issues occurred. The game was nerfed um, because of stats changes of unit compositions especially the rewards because in the beginning you used to get in korea in asia uh two selector tickets and now in the soft launch that didn't occur you got nothing um they did change a lot of other things as well but the generosity in the game disappeared overnight which is unfortunate um and i thought it was a really bad decision just like everybody else in the community. So because we were very vocal about it, you know, Nexon, they spent millions and millions of dollars to purchase the IP for this, and they can't afford to screw their pooch before it even started. So our voices were heard, thankfully. And those real, I was really concerned. I think everybody was really concerned in the beginning because uh, there was no communication. They didn't really talk to us in the beginning. And right before the launch, they apologized. They voiced that, you know, they heard what we said and it's something that they're going to address, which they did, thankfully. So selector ticket is back. Uh, you will get a free selector ticket at 3-10 or chapter 3-10, the end of chapter 3. Uh, what that means is the selector ticket is it gives you a free 10 pull and you have like 40 chances to reroll this sucker over and over with one guaranteed SSR uh, unit. So you basically get to reroll this sucker until you find exactly what you want. So that's why it's a selector ticket. So that is exactly what happens at 3-10. Uh, besides that, you get a free unit that is SSR out of five in the very first three, I think, uh, games or matches, whatever you want to call them. And so that is the reroll process. Now, I I'm going to call it a multi-step reroll. Your first reroll is going to be at, you know, three stages in. That's your first reroll. Uh, there are five options. The best is Teze, a purple ninja lady who is a single target DPS bomb. Uh, she's probably the best one out of all of them. The second would be Leica, and the rest are hot garbo, probably, uh, in my opinion, at least. And I just want to note that not everything that I'm sharing with you is solely of my own finding or anything like that. From the very first day of me doing any video, I don't pretend to know everything, and I'm not going to get in a soapbox pretending like I do. So I want to thank uh, the community always first. Second, I want to thank Josh. You know, he did a lot of work, but most importantly, uh, Raz, who is the guy who made tier list. Uh, I'm sure most of you have already seen the tier list, but if not, I will link it below. So let's get on it. This is the reroll guide, as well as us discussing just, you know, stuff that happened. So you get the whole idea. Now, sign in as guest, because it doesn't matter. Every account gets a free uh, sign-in bonus, as well as the Sophia's. So just do a guest. You'll be thankful me later. Um, all the rewards for signing up are ready here. Uh, initially, they weren't. They were delayed. So every time you re-roll, you still get them. So you it is in your own best interest to re-roll. And let's start it off. So this is how you do it. First step, get in. Download a whole bunch of crap that we don't care about. Click on guest. Do not log in because once you log in, you're permanently attaching that account to whatever account you're going to do. So type in guest, click start, and we're off to the races. So again, we're going to have to probably do this a couple times right away on step one of a true full reroll, and that is to get Teze. If you don't get Teze, that is reroll. Uh, be thankful because to reroll in the past, it was insanely painful. You had to delete the game files, do all this other stuff. It was just ridiculous. Um, they were doing everything possible to prevent you from rerolling. And so basically the best way to reroll was to effectively 
just <laughs> have multiple multiple instances and just pray that it doesn't crash on you and re-download everything wait five to ten minutes and just by listening to the first step of the reroll process you can imagine how much you hate your life uh thankfully they understood that that is going to ruin the game and basically stop us from wanting to play it because no one plays a gotcha and fucking doesn't re-roll come on like let's be fucking serious that's a gotcha you gotta start off with the best you got because it's a huge grind to get there in the end anyway so to expedite the process skip it you can always watch it later i actually played through this already so i could literally give a shit um so let's keep going duper derpa derpa come on come on let's go no so skip and i leave it on auto so one thing you'll notice is that you just basically keep skipping <laughs> to expedite the process now i will tell you this you will literally be autoing through the game until chapter five with doing nothing else i'm talking about no fortifying or leveling up fortifying your unit is leveling up um so you don't need to level your up your unit or do anything you just literally auto click buttons to start the mission and that's it go to chapter five after chapter five or at chapter five you're gonna have to start realizing oh i have to do something and i need to start actually playing the game so cicero the best sr in the game so you want to get him multiple dupes as much as possible and that'll be in your best interest so once you get him to plus five you get him to max level so once you do that he's going to be something you're going to be using for a hot minute so we keep going this is the free selectors that you i'm sorry the free ssrs you get sophia and ash both of which are farmable very very important because you really do want to focus on units that you can farm initially because you pick one, either Sophia or Ash, most likely Ash. Um, and then you're basically trying to get them to plus five as fast as possible. And once you do that, you focus on the next one. So Ash and Sophia are easily, easily farmable raids for soul stones. Soul stones, once you get to a certain number, you can then summon a duplicate of your unit. So as you can see here, the auto is on and I'm not doing anything just besides waiting for them to die. And so, back to story time slightly. So Nexon realized they screwed the pooch. Um, they fixed a lot of things. They gave us back a selector ticket. We still used to have two, but now we only have one. I'm not angry though, because here's why. There is a pity system which did not exist in Asia. Here, when you summon units, you will automatically develop a pity system. So there are multiple types of gacha skin, um, summons. First is a normal gacha summon. So you do that to develop the pity system. Then once you get to um, a certain number of summons, basically 100, you then get enough pity to do a ancient summon for one of three uh, special units. So the three special units, I don't really care what they're called, but the main one that you really do want to know is called Ludmila. She is very, very strong for obviously PVP as well as content, right? When I mean determine content, I mean like this. This is campaign and stuff like that, um, as well as you know other things. The Teze is amazing because she's good in PVP because you know you do want something that can just take a unit out, uh, but most importantly, she's good for raids. The raids are where you get all of your gear. So if you want to get good gear there's certain things you have to remember. Number one, to get the higher rank gear, you need to have higher tier raids. So once you start doing four tier four and better, you get better gear, the, the strong gear, like four or five stars and later on, stuff like that. And you, the best chance to get the gear, it's not everybody gets the gear. That would be a mistake to assume. The people who get the best gear are the top three damage dealers. So whoever does the three best damage of the group they're the ones who are really going to get the best gear. Um, everybody else has a very, very small chance of getting it. And there's a limited amount of good gear in each raid. So it is in your best interest to uh, do the most you can and be in the top three. Otherwise, you're probably going to get screwed and not get much. So this is what I'm talking about. This is the launch celebration. You're going to do your first gotcha. This is your test. Step one. Click yes. You don't really have a choice. You have to do it anyway. So there are five types of units you can get. Let's ignore everything and just focus on Teze because that's all that matters. So you start looking at it. I don't care. I don't want to see this. I just want to know what I get. Uh, he's uh, not that great. Ooh. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. My boy. 
Tezzy on my first try. Very nice. So we've succeeded step one. Ninja Lady is here. She is going to be part of our team. We're going to work on her. The other unit you want to really want to get in the beginning would be here, Angelo. These are other units that are not so good. Unknown is terrible. Reze. Riaz is kind of hot garble as well. So the premium gotcha is what you're summoning, normally speaking. So once you press 10, spending 300 gems, you're going to get there. So once you get to 100 summons here, you get 30 world shards. That's your pity system. Once you get to here, your 30 world shards, you go to the next level down, your ancient gotcha. And then you can summon one of these three, Ludmila, Edmund, Agilia, whatever her name is. I don't care about either of these. That's a loser. That's a loser. I want her, the red lady. She's the winner. So if we get her, extremely happy. If we don't, not so much. Now, there is a second tier pity system. If you look here, at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, you're going to get different amounts of soul stones for you are ultra rare. This is the highest tier. There is two special global summons that we get. Okay? And those two units, the one that you really care about is Anemone. So that can only be summoned through these you are soul stones. And I actually have to calculate exactly how much we need to pull to get them. I don't really know off the top of my head. Sorry. So we're going to keep going through the process. Step one, completo. Select our units. All right, we're going to put in series. I want to get in Teze. And then let's see. Yep, we'll leave it at that. Selection complete. Uh, formation doesn't even matter. You just play. Leave it on auto. Literally, you could sleep through this and you would should never lose. And if you do, something is very wrong with you, unfortunately. So, skippy skip. And you keep going over and over again until you get to 3-10. Once you get to 3-10, that's when you get your selector. And at that point, you make a decision. Are you looking for dupes? Or are you looking for your first unit that you want? So, you can make sure at this point to guarantee yourself an Angelo. If you get Teze, you can guarantee yourself an Angelo. That's automatic. Now, it's between you getting that Angelo and Chapter 3 that you're going to get a couple of pulls, right? So every 300 gems, you get a couple of pulls. So in between is what matters. Step 1 is Teze. Step 2, you decide for yourself. But in between, you're really hoping to pull one of the premium units, right? That would be a Angelo number one because he has some of the best AOE. In PvP and other things, that is what is going to win you games. AOE makes content go a lot faster, makes it much easier to get perfect three stars. It just does a lot. Now in PvP, I'll tell you this, in the soft launch, it was cancerous for numerous reasons. Um, some good, some bad. Cancer not necessarily is bad because you can be the cancer to other people. And that is always a good thing. Right? So step one is in the soft launch for PvP, I have been in situations where my power total was 2,000. I faced someone who was 16,000. So obviously matchmaking was highly questionable at that time. So right here, I'm already 9,000. But, you know, that just shows you how rough it can get sometimes in PvP. Right? So if you're facing someone that's like four to five times stronger than you, you're going to get raffle stomped. It's going to hurt. Because your face is on the curb and he's kneeing you right to death. So that happened a lot in the soft launch. Now, I think because I'm optimistic that that was a question of lack of players. Just because obviously global is much bigger than just a small launch in two countries. And then two, uh, it could just be that not be so other than lack of players, they just weren't, you know, working on their formula of how to make it matches right. But that being the case, because we're starting early on global, uh, you're not going to face that as much. It's really people that are starting like four or five days later that are going to be suffering if that does stay the same, which I doubt because they've put so much. They made a huge amount of changes. I'm pretty optimistic about the game. They're doing the right thing so far. And I think it's a huge concerted effort based on us as a community. Uh, we're the ones making that change. We're forcing them to do it because if not, they're going to get screwed and that's okay because this is here to entertain us and make us happy. So if they're not doing a good job, then we need to make them do it, right? Which we've already succeeded once. So I think we can definitely keep doing it over and over again. But matchmaking is really where PvP is going to make or break itself. But 
I will tell you this, the rewards are kind of just average. So, you know, it's okay. I think over time, um, they're probably making changes, if not already. I don't think I know everything. And there's a lot of things that are new in here, honestly, that we don't even know about yet because they just made changes and they weren't clear about it. And their developer notes, it was super questionable about what exactly is going on. They just said, we're gonna do good by you. We're like, all right, fine, let's see. So far, so good. Now, cancer part two is fun because I was part of that cancer. And I call that the double healer cancer. So what is the double healer cancer PVP composition? Let me explain to you. One of the best units is the Necroid. Why is the Necroid a great unit? It's because it is a healer unit. -oh. So what happens initially before you get proxy, which cancels out your healing shenanigans, is that in the initial game, no one really understands it very well. So you can cheese everybody by having two healers. Everybody has Sophia, so that's an automatic free regen and healer. And everybody knows it's really annoying because you're basically trying to get through fast enough to kill everything and get to her. But what happens when you have a secondary healer? Then the cancer just becomes exponentially worse. And you suffer because they just keep tanking hits and you keep getting wrecked. And you could be that guy. You can be the cancer. So... I recommend highly that you do double healers if you can, whether you're lucky and get Helena or you get a Necroid. Either way, highly recommended. Join the cancer team. Team cancer, baby. Do it. Uh, you're going to just wreck people left and right with that uh, initially. Over time, trust me, uh, especially as you get higher elo, you're going to get wrecked and you're going to have to change your composition away from the cancer double healer team. But again, super fun in the beginning. Um, I'm still re-rolling, so I've already done it once or twice to get to Teze, and in between Chapter 3-10 and what I am right now, it was hot garbo, so I was very sad. Gotta restart over. Um, all my pulls were shit, for lack of a better term. I am one of the unluckiest people, and it's quite entertaining to watch how bad it and how much I suck at pulling. <laughs> so I have to do this quite often, I'm assuming, until I get something decent. I have a friend who just literally um, did his first run, got Teze perfectly, Angelo, dupes of uh, Cicero. He just had everything. It was like a perfect alignment of like, bullshit <laughs> of how one person can be lucky. It's kind of that stuff that you see on Reddit and Discord about people flexing, and it's just disgusting and hurts your soul. That's exactly what that was, the exact opposite of what I have. So here I am busting my hump, trying to reroll, and I want to show you how to do it. So, again, we're just going to keep going through this, and once we get enough gems, we're going to make a pull, and hopefully we do better. But again, that is basically the entire run right there. So, A, get Teze. If you don't get Teze, automatically restart until you get Teze. Step two, get your 300 gems. You're going to get them like twice probably, maybe three times. Um, and once you do, do your pulls, hopefully you get at least two SSRs if you know if you have decent uh, RNG and then you do your selector ticket and boom that is pretty much as good as you're gonna get it anything more than that you're probably getting greedy and I would not recommend it um, just because that means that you're gonna suffer a lot I know like mango 7 is willing to suffer through that me I'm pretty lazy so I don't really do stuff like that anymore um, I just do a soft reroll I'm only going to do this a couple times and if it's crap I'm just not going to reroll anymore because I'm going to be sick of it. Uh, it'll burn out the game for me personally. So, uh, the only other thing I have left to show you guys, uh, besides giving amazing stories of how you as a community has uh, changed Nexon and forced them to kind of be less greedy uh, in what they're doing and, you know, give us more benefits, is, you know, how to actually reset the game. I already told you before that it was a nightmare. Like, I was working with other people just learning from them and their experiences how they used um, emulators like Nox and how they would go into the dev files, delete certain ones, insert certain ones so they could not have to avoid having to constantly re-download the updates and you know delete their character information so they could actually re-roll because they were tracking their IPs like you can tell like it's it's pretty intensive so now they changed all that the re-roll system is actually pretty nice now it's a pleasure really um, you literally just go into your settings and then click delete under the info tab so it's very very easy uh, it's actually so easy that there's not even a limit on time or or uh, amount of rerolls you can do uh, 
other games that are very generous, I find extremely generous, even they put a time limit on, you know, how many times you can reroll per, let's say, three minutes. Right, like every three minutes you get one reroll. So if you want to reroll because you didn't get Teze, very simple, click on this box here, go to your settings, and then go to info. Oops, let's see. Close this, do not show again. You are annoying. Because we're not saving until we know we have the perfect run, obviously. Go to info, collect here, delete account. I'm not doing that because I have a Teze at this point, so let's not touch that. But if you did not click delete, Right. Once you're happy, click Google, Facebook. I usually stick with Google and you link your account. But be careful that there is a problem. Some people who have linked their accounts have actually lost their accounts. So just be aware of that. Be very, very careful. And the reason why is because, uh, from my understanding, poor lack of reading skills is something that was suggested. I don't know myself because I never had that problem yet. I haven't found an account that could link. So if you click on the link account, please take it very slow. Read through your shit. And just make sure you're not deleting the account for a new account because all that hard work is then gone. So click delete and you're going to automatically start at the beginning of the reroll process. Now, I only have 100. So other things I just want to show you real quick is the I think the main thing that people are sleeping on is probably the treks. You know, I, I don't have it yet, but once you get to the treks, that's really where it's going to stick out because it's an easy way of leveling your crap units um, or your normal units that you don't want to, you know, deal with but i will say that leveling units is fairly straightforward um unlike the normal system with fodder it doesn't exist there is no fodder system uh basically what you do is it's a flat system and what i mean by that is so for this for your sword in order to level up everything gets leveled up including your weapons right your weapons can level five times if you want to level it up by raising level cap that's scaling it up you just tap it in raise it up and you're done it doesn't matter as long as it's a dupe you're fine so all that matters is dupes in this game now the reason why it avoids the the multi-tier fodder system is actually because it's very it's um how do i describe it a multi-tier fodder system it has a deep system it has depth this game does not have depth and that's not a bad thing it's just a different system it has width so what do i mean by width versus depth. Depth means you have multi-tier leveling. Width, uh, width means that it just has a shit ton of options. So what do I mean by that? That means you got fortification. Okay, fortification means you're literally leveling the unit up. All right, then there are dupes, raising level caps or skill caps. See this? Every time you raise that skill or level cap, it increases by one up to five. So every tier is effectively like five levels. So this goes up to this level 65. Right, so at right now it's at 40 plus 25, then you get there, right? And that's it. I will say this, uh, not only does level increase every time you do skill up, it does get a huge bump. Another thing is grade. Grade is another way of leveling up your unit. As you can see, each grade increases your stats by a significant portion, and it's very important. Grades are very easy to deal with, personally. Um, the first two or three grades are just strictly normal catalysts or equipment there's three ways of getting it through treks uh, drops and then lastly there are uh, selling units so anything that is like a rare unit or something that's like that that is fire uh, red green blue shadow whatever you want to call it once you sell that unit you get some of these catalysts and that's how you get it now keep in mind there is also later on a rainbow catalyst which can only be gone by uh, SRs and other units that are higher tier and as you go up up to A and S then obviously the, the rarity of the units goes up too uh, that you need to use other than that you got your gear you got all this stuff um, you only get this skill when you have the grimoire which is a gear so without that gear you cannot use skill 3 so that's another late game issue that you don't have to worry about yet so that is it um, tier list is attached this is the reroll system, and I hope your pulls are better than mine. Good luck, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy the game, and I hope we, you know, get some more suggestions and keep going. You know what I mean? So lastly, pull your gems and have fun. Later.